What's up, y'all? So this is P and D Nation. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is DMP Nation, and you're back here again. We had another video. Tonight we're doing a video on how to clean a pooch. So my husband just recently bought us his and her Uggs, and I accidentally spilled my hair oil on one of my Uggs. And so, I'm going to clean it up. So here we go. All right, you guys. So we bought the UGG cleaner from Journeys, which came to about $25 and some change. And in it came conditioner and cleaner. We have Shoe Renew Protector. Shoe Renew, and then we have the protector. Then here we have a brush, and then kind of like a mini eraser. So the very first thing you want to do is take the brush and kind of brush the dirt and debris off of the boot. So you, it's kind of important that you brush it all in the same direction. You can see the little spot right there. That's where the oil spilled on my boot. So, yep. Very important that you brush it all in the same direction. Grab the other one. Remember, brush it all in the same direction. A lot of times, once you brush it, it probably looks like you won't need to do the full cleaning, but you will. This kind of just gets the dirt and everything off. But remember to brush in the same direction. Then after that, you can take like paper or a towel or something to put in the bottom of the shoe to keep the shape. But I'm going to use this, which is what came out of the Ugg boot. So we're going to go ahead and press that in there so it's nice and firm. Then you're going to get yourself some water, a sponge, make sure. Then you're going to kind of... So you're gonna grab some water, doesn't matter if it's hot, warm, or cold. Mine's just kind of room temperature. You're going to grab a sponge, and then you are going to just damp the sponge into the water, and then you're gonna wring it out, kind of wet the boot a little bit, and then after that, you're going to add the conditioner, just a little bit to it. You don't wanna have it too wet or so, but just add a little bit to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sponge in the water. Wring it out a little bit. Add some of the conditioner, which will be number two. Put a little bit on the sponge. Not a lot, just a little bit. Kinda add a little bit more water, wring it out, and then you're gonna go ahead and start on the shoe remember you still want to keep that in the same keep that going in the same direction the wetness as you can see i didn't add a lot of water which is what i wanted to do because it's going to sit you know you're going to want to want it to sit for 24 hours but i'm going to add a little bit more water to this Add a little bit more conditioner. All right, then we're gonna go back to it. Remember, same as you did with the brush, you wanna brush it in the same direction. All right. You don't wanna just clean one spot of the boot. You might as well just go ahead and clean the entire one. The entire boot. Remember, same direction, same direction. You can kind of see, you can kind of see the wet spots there, but you have to give it 24 hours to dry. 
and then the wet spots were kind of, you know, go away a little bit. Very important, same direction. Let's keep it going in the same direction. So we're going to go ahead and grab the second one, add a little bit more water, a little bit more shoe conditioner, and same thing, same direction, slowly, you don't want to have it too damp, just to get it a little wet, but not nothing too bad. You can see on this one as well, you can see the wet spots a little bit, which is good. Because it takes about 24 hours, or really even a few hours, just to dry and for the shampoo to kind of, shampoo slash conditioner to kind of get into the shoe and get the spots off. Remember, you don't want to do it too hard or anything, because you don't really want to damage the boot leave any permanent impressions on it or anything like that. All right, so now we will give it about 24 hours to dry. This is what they look like so far with a few wet spots. All right, you guys, so after about 24 hours, the boots should be 100% dry. And then after that, you wanna grab a clean sponge or one that doesn't have much conditioner in it at all. Kinda damp it out or um, not damp it out, but make sure the sponge is wet. Then you're gonna go back over the boot. Kinda, you know, Try to get as much of the shampoo out as possible. It looks like I put a lot of water on here, but I didn't just because this is a lighter boot. It's like a lighter color. Remember to go in the same direction. first one kind of just brush it out brush the shampoo conditioner out remember same direction All right. and then after that you are going to spray some protector on there not di not directly but Try to brush it out again. No, I don't. Dry for another 24 hours. And then we'll be going back. All right, you guys. So as I said before, if you do have the wheat colored Uggs, once the whole process is finished and everything, the Uggs will appear to be a bit darker than before but that's okay they also won't be as soft on the outside because of the brushing but as long as it's soft on the inside that's all that matters and then so after you take the paper or in this case i have fists inside my uggs to keep the shape and everything then after that you're going to take the shoe renew which is for the inside kind of spread on the inside to keep the insoles fresh all right and then you have the protector and again you're not going to spray this directly on the shoe kind of give it a little bit 
same one here. And then after that process is complete, then you are going to wait another 24 hours for that to dry. And then your shoes will be complete. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. This was my very first Ugg boot cleanup tutorial, if that's how you want to pronounce it. But yes, this is my very first one. Hopefully you guys like it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button or you can leave some comments or how on for me how to improve on the next video again thank you for watching with us and this is dmp nation and we're out